Okay, you think you're like, yeah, you always got to be an optimist, right? Yeah, right. Absolutely. I know when you guys think of boxing, you think about these muscly tough guys. Not necessarily young girls like this young lady. This is Jesslyn Sylvia, Silva, rather. She's only nine years old, but she's already working harder than fighters twice her age. She has big, big plans for herself and for the sport, but there are a few challenges in her way. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth explains. Meet 76 pounds of fourth grade. I do not care if this has not really been done before. Jesslyn Silva is nine years old and has been boxing for two years already. I like that, like, you get to hit people without, without getting in trouble for it. You have to have a big heart to be a good boxer. If you don't have a heart, you're not going to be that good. This is Jesslyn's trophy and her belt. And this is her boxing coach, Don Somerville, who's about six foot five. That's who she's in the ring with right now. He says she has it all. She's more disciplined than some of my teenage boxers. Really? Yeah. They could use a little dose of her. Yeah, they, they, they could. Look at her go. Look at her go. The problem is there are not that many girls or boys in the entire country or the world for her to compete with. What do you say to kids out there? I say, like, keep on working and you'll make it. it. Just You have to, like, believe in yourself or else you won't get to that point in life. For now, Jesslyn's dad, Pedro, is just happy to see his daughter happy and excelling. She just fell in love with the sport, basically. Though he says some family members are not thrilled. Grandmommy doesn't like it. No, she don't like it. No? No. Uh, she old-fashioned. Meantime, discipline and excellence have contagious rewards. So far I've got uh, A's in my tests, A pluses, yeah. So I've been good. doing really good in school. And Jesslyn has a message for all you little girls out there. Girls, come on, boxing! <laughs> yeah. Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.